Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Jim Buckley. just said, what are you going to say when they just said all that stuff up there in a video? I could just say, wow, and sit down, but I'll go about one and a half more minutes. <laughs> there was a pretty good writer one time named, what the heck was his name? Hmm. Drawing a blank. Who said, writers write and talkers talk. Well, I was a writer, so I'm not much of a talker. I want to, first of all, say thank you to all the voters that saw me fit enough to put me on their ballot. And uh, I've covered this thing for a few years, and so I appreciate the, the honor. But you know, the very best thing about this honor are the people sitting right over there. Table 29, my family. And my friends, it means a lot to me because it means a lot to them. I have a daughter, Molly. She flew in from Philadelphia. I have a daughter, Chris. She flew in from Bend, Oregon. My two boys, Mark and Matt, they made the very, very long trip from East Lansing. <laughs> and my wife, Marcia, I don't know if I think she's maybe more proud than I am, if that's possible. But one of the things that, uh, that was really neat about this experience is all the people that came up and said something to me. There were dozens of people here tonight, but over the last three or four months, once it was known that I was going to be going into the Hall of Fame, I couldn't believe the number of people that came up and congratulated me. That really, really was special. And uh, drawing a blank. <laughs> Hugh Bernwriter in that video up there said that maybe a lot of people today don't realize the significance of the Sagna News, which is not the same today as it was back when I worked there. I worked there from 61 to 96. I mean, it was a really, a, truly a good newspaper. And there were a lot of good newspapers in Michigan. Things have changed today. I mean, you have the tech, you have your your iPhones, and your iPads, and not too many people read the paper. The Sagna News today still prints the paper, but it's not the same kind of paper that when I worked there. Hugh Bernwriter can tell you that because he worked for me. He worked at the Sagna News for quite a few years, and he still works there today. But he's a one-man staff. When we were there, we had a full-time staff of five people, and on school nights, basketball, football, whatever it might be, we had three, sometimes more, part-timers. So we had a pretty good-sized staff. We'd cover five, six ball games. We'd have a sports page that was six to eight pages long. Now you have a sports section that's one page long. And there might be a couple stories in there. So it's a different ball game. And uh, I've had people come up to me and, tonight and said, it isn't like it used to be. You, know, you, did a, you guys did a good job down there. And... Uh, Sure miss it, and that's about it for me. I like, I like to keep these short because there's other people who have more important things to say than me. I know there's supposed to be a five minute minimum. I think I used about three. Thank you very much. Congratulations.